the girl only falls in love with him because he's so good looking. Like, nothing he does is charming at all, okay? He, the first time that she sees the vampire, he, he sees him and he goes, Oh, no, 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 and he runs out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> she falls completely in love with you. You would never date a guy who did that the first time you met him. If that was your first impression of someone, that would be strikes one through three, right there. If the first time you met someone, it looked like he just came with pants. It's like, oh my gosh, oh, stay with him And then, then from then on, he just stares at her from across the room, all creepy like, you know. And then she finds out he sneaks into her room and watches her sleep at night. And she falls completely in love with her. Okay, imagine if a girl woke up and saw me watching this. <laughs> she wouldn't lose her shit. She'd be like, oh my god! What is Harry Potter doing in here? <laughs> then, then she goes to the vampire, she's like, you're a possible girl. He's like, say it. She's like, you're a vampire. <laughs> and he's like, look at me in the sun. That's not how he talks, but I, I can't do impressions very well. My impression is, I'm Robert Tangent, I'm looking for him. Um, that's my impression. So he goes, he's like, he's like, oh, you're so nice. And uh, I thought he was something real cool, like Pirates of the Caribbean, where he's got like a skeleton face. No, no, no. He steps on the sunlight. What happens, ladies? Hey, sparkles! <laughs> the skin starts to sparkle. And she goes, oh my god, you sparkle like that. Beautiful. Again, if that was me, I'd be like, oh my god, you're smart. <laughs> That's the gayest thing I've ever heard. You look like Elton John's fanny pack right now. <laughs> so then I, I, I went to the first movie because my ex girlfriend dragged me, and then I was single for the second movie, but I already had a bit about the first movie, so I'm like, well, I gotta go. Uh, so I went opening week, and it was me and <laughs> just a theater full of 15-year-old girls. So, you know. And, uh... And the first time Jacob came on, and now there's like a new sexy werewolf named Jake. He was in the first movie, too, but that was before the steroids. Uh, he's got this ridiculous six-pack, and the first time he takes off his shirt, I swear to God, I'm in a bunch of, you know, 15-year-old girls, I swear to God, there was an audible... Oh, <laughs> he takes off his shirt. He's got a six pack, and all he hears, oh, no, I didn't hear a vibrator, but I expected to. That's the kind of vibe that was going on. So now this girl is torn between a hot werewolf and a hot vampire, and I gotta be honest, I was showing the werewolf. Okay, yeah, thank you, one guy. <laughs> First of all, Jake was hot, okay? And then, also, in the world of these monsters, uh, we learned that were okay, werewolves are warm to the touch, and vampires are very cold to the touch. Their skin is cold, okay? I don't know, ladies. What would you rather have inside of you? Uh, warm werewolf cock, or cold feels like you're going to the gynecologist vampire people? Um, do you want your sex feeling medical in nature? Because... That's what it's like on a vampire. Although dating a vampire wouldn't have its advantages. <laughs> There's no point in the month he's not going down on you. Uh, yeah. No, that's not gross. I'm getting like a, that's gross vibe. No, it's not, okay? That's food to them. That is food to them. You wouldn't be grossed out if like chocolate was coming out of a... Uh, I would go down on a girl and get chocolate coming out of her breath. I'm just saying, that's not weird. Okay, that's weird, but it's also awesome. It's weird and awesome at the same time. I would love the chocolate in the <laughs> So she chooses the vampire, and then I read ahead, you know, if you don't want to know about what happens in the rest of the toilet saga, because I'm about to spoil it. Uh, I read ahead on the blogosphere, it turns out that she ends up with a vampire and has a baby with him. He has a baby with her, and uh, while the baby, like, <laughs> the staff vampire baby is inside her, it starts eating her alive from the inside. Gee, what seems like a better decision now? Warm werewolf cock or the world's worst STD? Uh, 